picked up drugs when I was about 13. And um, it just robbed me from my childhood because I was a young boy. I was in and out of juvenile halls. I go to prison at age 18. So by the time I'm 21, I had no job experiences and I'm looking for a job and I'm not able to find any work. At this time, I'm motivated. I'm like, man, I want to work, but nobody wanted to hire me. Urban Corp was the only company that gave me that second chance. Urban Corps gives at-risk youth a second chance to attain their high school diploma through our charter school, but also equally important is getting paid on the job training on a variety of different work activities out in the field. And it can be any type of conservation work from recycling services to urban forestry planning, habitat restoration and preservation. So they'll work about three days in the field and then a couple days will be spent in the classroom working towards their high school diploma. And it's a natural high school diploma, not a GED. We also provide other valuable services to the core members, including career counseling, job counseling, because we don't just want to provide the job training experience or the education experience. We have to ensure that these young core members are successful throughout life. And so the quarter career department helps us ensure that our core members are getting lined up with permanent employment after graduation and or college enrollment. These people really, really make a difference. They really walked me through some tough moments, and I'm very, very grateful for the support that I have here. Elisel epitomizes the expression of don't judge a book by its cover. Once you get Elisel to speak to you, you begin to get a sense of really who he is. He's a gentle, kind, hardworking, articulate, caring young man who will look at you in, in the eyes and, and talk to you from the heart right off the bat. You know, there comes a point in every addict's life where your reality is more painful than the pain of change. And yes, it's hard sometimes. I have my days, but um, I don't ever want to go back. And I call it a gift of desperation. Why not put that gift into effect today as motivation? He stood out as a student. He was our valedictorian at his graduating class. He exemplified the best work ethic out there in the field. I mean, he's the example we need to have there for the core members into the future. Now I'm working here, supervising and mentoring the young adults. So today I'm giving back what was so freely given to me, which was that second chance, regardless of how you look or what your records say.